you with another In Pursuit Of tutorial series. And this time, we're going after, wait for it, In Pursuit Of The Gun Show. I want to put some meat on these bad boys. Over the last year or so, I've been focusing mostly on body weight training and getting my body fat percentage down low enough so that I can keep these babies popping. Unfortunately, in the process, I lost a little mass and now I have the biceps of a small child. So this tutorial series will be focused on a specialization program to add an inch to each arm in under three months. A three month specialization program focusing on biceps, on the gun show. I'll be posting a PDF version of this entire program for my YouTube subscribers to download. Okay, to begin with, let's take a look at where my bicep measurements currently are at. Oh, the shame. All right, oh, 15 and a half inches, not even. Now keep in mind, I did tear my distal bicep tendon on the right arm here, so uh, this arm may never look quite the same as the other arm. There'll always be a little bit of a gap there. And that is, whoa, quite a bit bigger. It's an even, 50, just over 15 and a half on the left arm, a little bit bigger on the left side. So here are some of the training methods and principles that I'm going to be using in this specialization program because who wants bigger arms? Everybody! First of all, to grow bigger arms, you need to gain weight overall. You're not going to grow some massive arms if you're in a caloric deficit or following a fat loss program. So first of all, get yourself into a caloric surplus and I suggest tracking your calories using uh, MyFitnessPal or another online uh, app such as that. Um, and then follow a full body hypertrophy program. The one I developed is called Basic Anabolic Hypertrophy Training and I'm posting a link to that right here on the screen. So you can click that link to check out the program I'm using. And I'm also going to post several links to other hypertrophy training resources in the description section below. The next thing you want to do is to train arms more often. So when you want to specialize a muscle group, you want to hit that muscle group more frequently. I'm going to be training arms two to three times a week. Uh, and related to that, you also want to give arms their own day so you can train them separately from any other muscle group. However, one recommendation I have is that you start this program with two weeks of no direct arm work. You want to start fresh. And finally, you want to attack arms with a variety of exercises that hit them at their extreme ranges of motion. Of course, you want to include heavy compound mass building exercises like dips and chin ups, as well as the isolation exercises that we're going to be using in this program. I'll be posting videos of all of these exercises coming up in the series. Until then, train hard.